What is up, guys? How is everyone? Hold on, guys. What is up, guys? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying safe. It is and from the great state of Mississippi with my good friend, the Cut of the Jib. What's up, Cut of the Jib? How you doing? What's happening, big guy? You doing all right? Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I just all I just want to say, um, I just wanted to say that there's going to be a trigger on this because there is going to be a lot of talking about certain things. There's a trigger okay. warning. Hello. I Are said okay. There? Yeah, I'm still here. For yeah. I just want to say that there's going to be talking about um, stuff about like, um, you know, Chris and I are both, we tried to do this on his channel before and didn't work twice. He got sick. Number two, my computer my head <laughs> fucked up. Yep, yep. They're on Twitch, YouTube, and Rumble. But, Excellent. What? Well, we're on all platforms. We're so you guys. Um, and we're not asking for any donations right now. Tips or super chats, rumble rants. Guys, give me a minute. Not a problem. Do not something. A problem. Dance. Let's. How's everybody doing here today? I am potential spam. I'll call back later. Um, <laughs> it's great to see everybody here. I see in the chat, we got old Bobby Nick in there. We got Sean Riggle is in there. Uh, Sari is in there. So it's good to see everybody there. Sean says that Orange Cassidy has entered the building. I don't know what this whole Orange Cassidy Orange. thing is that everybody always talks about. I have no clue what that is. Um, you guys seem to be in the know on that. I am not, however. So, yep, yep, yep. How you guys yep. doing? Orange Cassidy's in the building. But I want to talk about the um, I uh, Saturday night. I went to watch a uh, couple. Chance. You know what the Bates family is? The Bates family out of Tennessee. like Norman Bates. No, no, no. Gil and Kelly Joe Bates. The Bates they okay. had 19 kids. They, 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 they no had a cool. show called Bates, Meet Meet the Bates or something like that. Meet, okay. the, Bates, Meet the Bates family or they have a they have a show on um they had a show on um uh, uh they had a show on one of the channels. I think it was like G A C or they had on G uh not G A C G A uh the gospel channel. Uh, okay. Geez, uh, sorry, it was one of those channels. It was the channel that played old uh, Doc in a uh, suit. Su su uh, um, uh, the FBI, girl, the one that was blunt was a uh, death. Okay. FBI. Sue so Thomas FBI is that that channel. But um. What I want to talk about is that there a lot of people they got canceled. Oh, okay. This Was it just not getting the ratings? The first, one. the first show, guess who was the producer of their first show on TLC? Yeah. Who's that? Jim uh, Bob Duggar. Okay. Okay. Now that name does seem to ring a bell, I think. The Duggar family, the one that had uh, 19 kids in counting, counting okay. on their oldest yes, son I, is, spending time, is in jail right now. For I think one of my exes used to watch that. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Oh, what's the, what's the matter? Did you hurt yourself? I just, I just slammed my, I just slammed my toe into the chair. Oh, that's never fun. Mm. <laughs> you know, also, um, you talk about like you, you know, what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the prosperity gospel people, like mm -hmm. Kenneth Copeland. You said you worked with with a Todd, 
Todd White or Todd Roger or uh, Todd Bentley was on the station that I was on, and um, let's see who else was there. Uh, Creflo Dollar was there, as well as uh, um, uh, what's what's the other guy? TD Jakes was on there, but then we had some good ones like uh, Dr. Charles Stanley, you know, and stuff like that. You oh, know, I love so. Charles Stanley. I love him. Yeah, I like that guy. he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He was a good guy. His son's a piece of garbage, but he's a yeah. good guy. Yeah. Hey, I might have to show. Hey, you have to teach me how to do. Uh, right now, I'm using Spreaker. I'm using the uh -huh. um to get the downloads on. And right. I'm using Spreaker with for the free downloads, and then my Patreon for the paid downloads. Right. Oh, and by the way, you guys might notice that we now have a ninety-nine cent one, a four ninety-nine one, and a hundred-dollar one called the Money Mark. Mm. The Money Mark. We have a new one called the hundred-dollar one. And that's just these are your that, these are your memberships, memberships, right? That you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, and also um, a little bit of news. Pick. So I no longer have, on kick. I no longer have the Mike Lindell emote. I oh. took it all. I was I was holding it for him. Oh, gotcha. I was holding it for Steel Toe because it's their emote. I just oh. wanted to ha just want people to use it. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, on. I actually I um, actually auditioned to be on Mike Lindell's. Uh, TV station, Lindell TV. I didn't get the gig, but I yeah. did audition for it. Yeah. Um, what I also want to talk about is Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth mm -hmm. Copeland has so much. You see him everywhere. He's on so many people on so many channels. He's on right. TBN. He's on WGN every morning. Mm -hmm. He's making he makes so much money doing stuff. Yeah, he has his own you network know, now. Yeah, well, you know, he he's an interesting guy because first of all, he's tricking a lot of people into giving him money, and second of all, yeah, the thing is, you know, people need to be smarter about that. But second of all. Um, me being a former rabbi, the thing I could tell you is that within Judaism, you um, are not allowed to take a salary from your congregation if you have other flows of income. Kenneth Copeland has DVDs he sells. He has, uh, you know, conferences he charges for. He has, you know, books and all that stuff. He yeah. should not be accepting a dime from his congregation. Um in terms of uh, what it is that we refer to in Judaism as halakha. Yeah. Link, uh, someone wants a link. Um, hey, Stevie, I told Stevie Lou about the show. Okay. And I would talk about Jim Grendel and, um, and what, what, what they're doing is wrong. What Grendel is doing Jim Grindle and Luke of the Bond are idiots. Are moronic morons. Trying to say that they're... I will get to... Let me tell you something. People are... Uh, raw, raw, uh, my friend Rob's... Rob, uh, Bob, Bobby Friend's name and the stuff. Bobby Friend did nothing to you, Rob Saul. Quit bringing up... My boy, because you got screwed by by Levy. Yep, Bobby Fran is one of the nicest guys on the planet. He's a guy that he's much like Hack Ride. If you have a problem with Hack Ride, there's something wrong with you, not him. The same is true with Bobby Fran. Bobby Fran is one of those guys as well that nobody should have any sort of issue with because he's cool to everybody. Yeah. Jim Grindle and Luke of the Bind, you can go to hell. Oh, thank you, Stormy. Thank mm. you, AI Stormy. 
Uh, but we're getting back to um, getting back to Kenneth Copeland. You also said you he also is is telling people, oh, he was spreading misinformation about COVID nineteen. You know, yeah, I remember that whole thing where he said it was gone and all that stuff. Some people say what I say about yeah. that particular thing is um, uh, misinformation. So that's why I do a lot of stuff on Rumble. But the thing about it, though, is that, um, you know, he declared that it was gone and all this other stuff. And guess what? It wasn't. Now, the thing is that yeah. according to Deuteronomy 17, if a person says that something is going to come to pass and it doesn't, it means that they are false and to get away from them. That's what it says in there. But he doesn't have his congregation read the Torah or the Pentateuch or the Old Testament. He doesn't have them read those things. And he says those things are done away with. So that means that um, those rules don't apply to him. Which is a huge yeah. theological error. Yeah, and you know, and, and I want to have you on. I really wanted to have you on the show because to talk about this because, you know, you being a former rabbi, you being a former thing, you you also work with, you know, your show, The Cut of the Jib, is a great channel. He talks about rock. By the way, I also want to say, I've, I've listened to Kenneth Copeland one of his CDs. He those free CDs before. Mm -hmm. He had free CDs out on his on his uh, computer on, on his website. I ordered them. I ordered a lot okay. of his free stuff back in 2016. And actually, where's that book? Where did I put that book? I have something. I bought this. This I have it. I uh, I I I know you're gonna kill me. No. What is that? The I bought their I bought I bought their salvation package. I got their oh, salvation got... package. Their salvation package. So you have to buy their package to receive salvation. No, it's free. It's okay. free. It was free. salvation it was, it was, it was is huh? salvation is. But uh, the 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 book was also free on the website. Okay. Yeah, but I um I, I that's actually my fourth or fifth copy of that because I ordered them oh, so wow. much. Have you read it? No, I told you, dude. I it was just free. Okay. And so you're Kenneth, a collector Kenneth then, Copeland, aren't you? Knowing Kenneth. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Kenneth Copeland has also has. You know, he he might have had a ghostwriter write that book. He a lot of had, those guys um, do, sadly. Yeah, you know, uh, but. Here's the thing. He 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 says that he, you know, he he says that he has, but he has all this stuff. But what about uh, Bertrick? Bertrick has bought many planes. Has bought a house with using the church money. Yeah, yeah, that is scummy stuff. There, there's a guy. Now, first of all. I do want to say this. It is not a sin in any way, shape, or form to be um, a person of wealth. It's not, but it is where your focus is. When you have people like this that are going and buying house after house and trying to um, increase in their wealth while supposedly teaching the word of God, that's where you have some issue there. That's the link. Uh, that's the link to the YouTube, not the stream yard. Uh, Steve wants to come in here. Okay, Steve yeah, yeah. Wants... Oh, that's cool. Stevie Lou's a great, a great guy. I like Stevie Lou. All right, I'm sending him a linger now. Oh, I thought you meant he was backstage there. Gosh. Gotcha. No, I, I, he want, I sent him. Uh, by the way, I did put a thing out um, to try to get Aaron affiliated before the Cunt of Ocala gets. Uh, Lemmy is trying to get affiliated on Kick, and but I'm trying to get Aaron affiliated before Lemmy. Okay, so what is what does affiliation on Kick do? Okay, these are all this new things. Means you, means, I'm an old uh, man. You get you get your uh, if you hit 75 followers, you get mm -hmm. to get a sub button. 
on the channel so you can start taking subs like I do. Like like submarines, like subway sandwiches? No, 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 no. Subscribers. Wait a minute. So a person cannot subscribe have subscribers unless they get 75 subscribers? I don't understand. Followers. Followers. So what's the difference between oh, a follower oh, and a subscriber? Hey. Oh, Followers okay. are free. Subscribers gotcha. are paid. Okay. okay. You're, you kids always changing the you, name of stuff. <laughs> guys, by the way, we got six people watching over on uh, Rumble. What's up? Wonderful. What's up, Rumble? Excellent. I it, Rumble is great in terms of viewership. I didn't promote anything. Did yeah. a video on Rumble earlier. Immediately, fourteen people in there. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You know, Rum, Rumble. I also want to say. I want to say that this is. By the way, um, I also want to say a really big thank you to Cut of the Jib for, you know, Cut of the Jib is is a great person. And, and you know, when I was talking, when I share those channels, that I'm doing it because I'm watching them. I've watched. There's a channel that I have. Oh, I'll let you know about. It's called Not the Good Girl. She talks about the people. Oh, here's Stevie. Okay. Hey, it's Stevie. Mr. Lou. Cut of the fart. I, I mean, oh, I, well. Jake, take me out. I can't do that. No. Uh, I'm kidding. Hey, by the way, did you know that Aaron and Lemmy are both now on kick? I saw that. And weren't you the first one on kick? Yeah. You were. They're copying you. Yeah, he, he's kind of he's kind of paving me. the way for all this. By the way, I also said I also knew that Aaron was gonna go to kick. So what I said, I told uh Flan, Flan o Julian, that the uh the the emote, the um the uh the Mike Lindell emote. Gotcha. Cool. Hey, uh, hey, do I have any moderators in the chat? Can can get rid of Costco, Road Fruit, and Chicken Meal? We do not talk about that anymore in this channel. No. I don't even know what that means. That, <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, we're talking about prosperity gospel, Stevie. Whoa! Okay. He thought he thought you were a, an expert on this there, so he said, "You know, we need to get the old Stevie Lou in here." He said, "Because no, Christopher is uh, not cutting it, we need to get Stevie." No, 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 because uh, Stevie uh, wanted a link, and I told him he didn't know what we were talking about today. We we had this plan like weeks ago. First, he got sick, and then my internet fucked up. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I just wanted. I, and, and, and say that <laughs> you don't need to worry so much about those other guys, you know, that are bothering you. I think that what you yeah. should do is just cut them out of your mind. Cut them out yeah. of your life. Don't give them any Jim more. Grindle and you Luke know, of the I, Bind, you can go to hell. Yep. Oh, wow. That was AI Stormy. Yep. Yep. She pops in every now and then to all these shows. I mean, she sounds kind of hot. She yeah. might be. I don't know. I don't, um, I don't know if they I she's mean, got the real, an AI you know, body here, Here's the thing. The I'm, I'm not thinking of them. I'm not <laughs> thinking of them. Hey, can, can I say something, Stevie? Yes. I'm not thinking of them. They're, they're just they're going into people's channels talking about shit about me. And here's the thing, dude. Grendel, you know the first show, the first BYB I've ever on. Grendel and 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 Luke had to go in there and. Yeah. They harass. They were uh, on the first. You know what, though, buddy? Like, they are doing anything that they can to try to get attention. They are orchestrating this so. shit because they are just desperate, buddy. They're desperate. So yeah. you got to yeah. just let them just know that they're going to do it, know their motives, and realize there's yeah. really nothing that you can do to change you know, them. And you it's know, sad. It, Oh, oh, uh, hey, Chris, I have not yeah. spoken to Dustin in a while. I haven't spoken to oh, Dustin in a, in a while. Okay, well, well let's the, try and get back on track here with what Stevie's saying. 
you know, go and message sure. Dustin later about uh, Guns and Radio, um, you know, having him on and all that stuff. But I will say this, that Stevie's right. You know, th- people like to create this kind of drama when they don't have an audience because it gets them an audience when some people go and feel they need to respond. So like these two guys, I'd never heard of them before in my life until you mentioned them. And so the thing is, make them as irrelevant as they are. Say nothing about them. And that right there, you do that, you win, man. You got to keep the devil down in the hole. Yep. When you walk yeah. through the garden, I also, uh oh, better save yourself. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, what's up, guys? Hey, um, Gino, do a show today. Gino did a show today. Hello. Yes. Yeah, is Chrissy doing a show today too? I believe so. BYB will be on at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, man, that should have been the first yeah. one you asked him about. <laughs> That's the real one right there. We've got a huge guest tonight. Who's that? The one and only Who? Dayla. Ah. <laughs> Superstar on, of the wait, internet, Dayla. On, a, on, on, on In Hot Water. I like him on on a on a on a on compound on BYB, um, which is located on the YouTube BYB podcast BYB underscore podcast. We got to get you back on, Jake. Let's talk that, to Quad. Uh, we'll get you booked as a like I told you. Yeah, we'll bring you back on as a, a featured guest, so you get the whole uh, marquee, yeah. you know. Uh, and we'll promote yeah. it as such. I think that's nice. fair. Yeah, the last time I was on there, I had to share it with Corn. I had to share. I had to share my spotlight with Corn. Corn's a good guy, you know. That that has to be, you know. It kind of helped both of oh, you out. Way, you both uh, together. By the way, by the way, um, since 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 we're talking anyway, um, Zero Dark Tony is being sued by Leah Remedy. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if he's being sued. Maybe he is actually. Now that you say that, there's something legal going on there. I did hear about that. Uh, that's another buddy of ours. Zero DT. ZDT is the man. Now I got a question about Zero Dark Tony. I, I, I like his. He does a great show, but I cannot put my finger on him. Is he? It's interesting because he's an anti Scientology guy. Who doesn't like the other anti Scientology people? Yeah, am I picking up on that right? Yes, yep. So, yep. I, I don't get it. Yeah, well, it's a very pragmatic sort of situation, and okay. he's, a, he's a complex guy. Uh, I'd say he comes off to me very intelligent, uh, well, well read. Uh, mm-hmm. he's got a lot of experience, he's done a lot of stuff. He lives out in LA. And uh, has seen a lot of crazy shit. You know, I live in New York City, and just yeah. by nature of living in these big, big cities, I've seen some crazy shit in my day too that I don't really, you know, oh, of course, go on too much about. But uh, and I'm not saying I'm proud of that. It's just it's how the city works. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so totally. Oh, wait, I heard you. Guy. I heard uh, Stevie Lou. I heard you got a thing for Alien Spy. <laughs> I heard you got a. Yes, the uh, wonder. It was actually aliens. So, yeah, I guess the and I tried to watch it. Uh, aliens four. Uh, there was a film, Alien Aliens four, where the main alien hack ride says, I, "I look a lot like him," and he's not wrong. So, <laughs> I tried watching that the other day. It's considered it's the worst of the alien movies <sighs> to the point where people oh. like. Sean Riggle, oh, hey, Orange Cassidy has got a question. Orange, Orange Cassidy has a question. <laughs> Not specifically. Not specifically. Um, I've seen a homeless guy take a big giant dump. More than once. Ooh. That's that's pretty That's common. a daily occurrence. Yeah, right? that is pretty common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I also like 
try to yeah. look out for my local homeless guy too, because yeah. you know it's, it gives yourself a little bit of perspective when you see somebody who's really got their life all fucking messed up, and uh, you know. Hey, um, I want to ask this question, Stevie. I want to ask a question. So, who is this cop? He's the cop. <clears throat> yeah, he's a guy Where's that just. Keith? Yeah, he used to be the general manager, <clears throat> executive general manager of Compound Media. Oh. <clears throat> He's no longer with uh, the company. He retired and I think lives in Florida. Yeah. Good move. Yeah, but he yeah. was a police officer. But uh, also, State. question for you, uh, Chris. Hmm. What do you think about Paul Crouch? Paul and Jen Crouch? Steve, he's asking the Jewish guy about the Christian world here. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I think that. <laughs> Pretty much a scumbag. Sorry. Yeah. Pretty much a scumbag. We, we were talking about Crip. What do you think about uh um uh, not Ron DeSantis? What do you think about Ron DeSantis? I like Ron DeSantis. I like Ron DeSantis. I'm voting for him in the primary, actually. All right, dudes, I got about, the jet. Buddy, no, uh, Have Robert a good one, Stevie. Barbara, you, See you. All right, See you, Jake. Thank you. Rob Kennedy is now now going to be running as an independent. RFK is not. Gonna... That's going to be a huge problem because I'll tell you, whenever you have a third party run, that always has the votes go to the Democrats, which right now really ticks me off more than usual. It always does, but guess what they found out recently or today actually, the weapons that Hamas yeah. used on Israel were the weapons yeah. that were sent to Ukraine from the United States and Ukraine sold those to Hamas. So, yeah. Whoa. I am not too happy with uh, Robert F. Kennedy running as an independent. So what ends up happening is some of those conservative votes go to Joe Biden. That ticks me off to no end. What about people saying that Ron DeSantis is going to be a president? I like Ron DeSantis, or... and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I think Ron DeSantis is a great choice. Look at Florida. the One of the very few states that actually has a surplus. This is a guy that is actually getting stuff done. I'm a MAGA guy, but the thing is... With Ron DeSantis, you have a guy who's a MAGA candidate, but however, he's more articulate and he is smarter than Donald yeah. J. Trump. And he doesn't have the baggage. Yeah. I think yeah. Ron DeSantis would be unbeatable in a general election. Yeah. Sorry about bringing Stevie. On. Oh, don't apologize. I like it when Stevie comes. Stevie's a good guy. No need to apologize to me, yeah. man. Let me see. Let me see who's on MLC today. Let's see who's on MLC. Probably a bunch of losers. That's usually what's on MLC, it's right? It's Ray and some female. It's Ray and some female. It's Ray and some female. Some female nobody knows it's of. Ray and some yeah. Yeah. I just found this Tracy one on Twitter. Tachini? Who? Can we, can I don't know. Is she is she, she a looker? Have, I'm I have a guess. Here, I'm gonna I'll I'll pull I'll do a stream tonight. Uh oh. I think Tracy looks like Corey Adams. Corey Adams. That's right here. He's a guy. He's a bald guy. So you up there. So you obviously don't look like Corey Adams. Oh, God. Pecker. Pecker, nice. It's in one. Fucking weird. Fucking veto. Oh, I guess he was defending you before, earlier. Pecker, 1901. Can't defend Ray anymore. 
I can I see he's stupid. I didn't know he was uh, defending me. All right, I, all I, I still don't know if he wasn't. I'm, I'm stopped, Jaron. Sorry. No, it's fine. I yeah, I don't know I, who the fuck that girl is. I don't know, but apparently she does something. She has a professional mic like this one. So apparently she has a show that probably nobody watches. Um, in terms of Kevin Brennan, this is a guy let's that see, has five phrases on, uh, he just says over network. and over again. Say what? What'd let's you see say? He's on the Shuly Network now. <laughs> let's see he's on the Shuly Network. Okay. It's Rico, Uncle Rico Live. It's oh, it's, it's them. I heard I heard Stutter and John was talking shit about me. Really? Now, who told you that? About me. People, people was like, oh, I'm not. Was it somebody Stutter trolling John, you? Here's the thing, fuck Stutter and John. I'm I'm going to block that motherfucker's ass. Well, make sure what? that he was really saying what people are telling you he was. You know, be careful because there's people out there, Jake, you know it, who try and no. troll you, get you all worked up. So, unless you hear it from like somebody like Spaghetti Tooth, or you hear it from Ari, or you hear it from Stormy, or you hear it from Sean Riggle or Mr. Blue Sky. Or any of, the, or like Bobby Nick, or any of those guys. If you don't hear from any of them, I wouldn't believe it. Just be careful with that stuff, because you know at some point somebody's going to say that I'm talking bad yeah. about you. Right. You know that's not the truth. Hey, um, hey, all right, we got to talk about something. What do you think yeah. about the 700 Club? The 700 Club, you know, I actually used to watch, I actually used to watch the 700 Club, but it was before I knew better. Oh, uh, can I also, you know? can I, can yeah. I also say something? The, yeah. the reason why they're on ABC and Fox Family and ABC Family is because Pat Robertson signed a deal mm -hmm. where they cannot right. uh, did Jake lose connection or did I lose connection? Can you see me? Okay. Um there we go. What were you saying there, Jake? I think either one of us lost connection there and I wasn't able to hear what you were saying. Oh, yeah. Can Jake hear us? Um, because, uh, I can hear you guys. Sorry, I'm doing some stuff. Okay. Pat actually had a thing in his contract when he sold uh, the Family Channel that he, um, that he they had to put him on. Reason mm -hmm. why the Seven Hundred Club has been on the shirts. That was that was a good business move. That was a really good business move. But one of the things with Pat is Pat, you know, had some issues in the '80s saying some anti-Semitic stuff. I think he learned his lesson later on. But then, as Pat got older, you know, he shouldn't have been on TV because he just started saying stuff. That was like, okay, this yeah. crazy old man's losing his mind. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Also, what do you think about James Robertson? Things today... Today, I don't remember a lot of these sure, newer a, names. Never are, mind, sorry. It's okay. Don't no, no no need to apologize. A lot of these newer names, I know nothing about them. In all honesty, except the ones that I have had dealings with. Yeah. 
So I never want to talk right, smack hey. about somebody if I didn't deal with them, you know? Yeah. All right. Um, you want to end or you want or you want to go in an hour? Or Does it matter to me? Whatever you want to do, brother. Whatever you want to do, right, because, I am flexible. We, 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 we got we got enough information in 35 minutes. We got enough we got enough information done now. And it is and I don't want to ask to be because you, you we said what we wanted to say. I okay. also want to say thank you, Chris. Go check out Chris's channel, Cut of the Jib, um, Rock Talk Live today or tomorrow or yeah. Um, oh, it, what do you mean never? No, no, I'll 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 do it, but I'm 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 trying to see. I don't know <laughs> if there's gonna be any no, no filter today. If I need to do jib filter today, I don't know because I know these guys are on a rotation where it is that they, um, you know, they get antsy if they don't, if they don't have their show. I see Scott's in there. So Scott, give me the, up uh, the update. And, uh, I'll, yeah, by I'll the way, see you. Do you realize that they would have done it at three 30? They would have done it at three 30. They would have done it an hour. Uh, and, and, yeah, so yeah, yeah, those times bounce around all over the place, can uh, depending upon what everybody's got going on. So I don't know. Um, maybe they won't have it today. Maybe I do need to do a jib filter. I don't know. But the thing I always, whenever I do that, I feel bad because Scott has the same problem with EV Mux that you have, which is losing connection yeah. because it requires more bandwidth. And so I always hate when Scott has those issues. Um, you know, with EV Mux. Um, so you know, it's one of those things. Maybe I need to open a free StreamYard account and uh, just say, you know, I'm gonna do StreamYard, but do a do the free version. I don't know. Yeah. Just post a link in the stream, the Discord, to what channel you, the, the stream is on. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. I gotta go. I gotta go first and turn off the Rumble stream. No worries. Stevie is awesome. Sean Riggle is over there. Sean, if you didn't follow me yet, follow me, dumbass. <laughs> Man, coming in hot. <laughs> We're ending the um, the one on Rumble. It's ended. Okay. Now, now we're gonna end this one, guys. I hope no. you guys enjoy. I hope you guys and uh, Rumble.